Good morning. Are you ready for your day? Well, I'm getting ready for mine. And today uh, we're going to again have a word from God and it's going to be a good principle uh, to put into your life. But look what I'm having for breakfast. Oh, look at that. Ooh, can you see that? That is Mexican casserole. Brenda makes the best Mexican casserole. Uh, and I actually cooked those potatoes last night. And, uh, you know, uh, my, my family has always made a little fun of me uh, because I present my food to myself. It's uh, my son-in-law, Jake, uh, even got tickled. He's a, you know, he's a big food guy. He got tickled at me one time whenever I was eating at his house. He said, look, you've arranged everything on your plate just for you. I said, yes, I do. I like it. I, I like to arrange things just like I like them for me. And uh, why not? Hmm? Why not? Oh, listen, you should try this Mexican casserole. Potato. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. A little more Tabasco sauce, you know, maybe. Yeah. Mm, I'll let that sit and soak in for a little bit. It's going to be good. All right. Ooh, I can smell the Tabasco. Have you ever been to that Tabasco place over in Louisiana? It is a great place to go when, you know, when you get the chance, get the opportunity. It's a wonderful outing. You'll enjoy so much. They have something to eat there and uh, find out where it's at and try it. Avery Island, I believe. It is a great, great little trip. All right. Our word for today. Well, our principle today comes from uh, the life of Job. Actually, Job's wife. Our principle says that our life and the experiences of our life is not the measure of God's will for mankind. Our experiences are not the measure of God's will for mankind. Our life, what happens to us, we cannot judge God by what happens in our life. You know, sometimes, like Job's wife, something bad happens, something difficult happens, and then all of a sudden, you know, uh, they charge God. In fact, Job's friends did that. And, you know, uh, Job's wife said to Job, just go ahead and curse God and die. God doesn't love you. God doesn't like you. God's against you. That's what Job's friends said, you know. Uh, but they were measuring God by experiences. They were measuring God by Job's life. Job refused to make his experiences or to make his life the measure of God. Listen, God's so much bigger than the things that may be happening to us. We can't just get into a storm like the disciples did on the Sea of Galilee and think that somehow God has forsaken us because something bad happens to us, because we go through something difficult. God is with you. The reason why bad things happen is because this world is filled with sin. This world is not our home. We are in this world, but not of this world. And we have to realize that many of the things that uh, our neighbors go through, the common things we also go through, but we go through them with victory, just like Job did and just like the disciples did. Jesus showed up, calmed the storm, and they got on their way. Well, today, let's decide we're gonna put in our life today to realize that without respect to what we experience or without respect to someone else experiencing something difficult, we are not going to measure God by people's experiences. We're gonna measure experiences by the word of God. And God's faithful. So uh, don't forget, you know, don't let life be the measure of God. Okay? I love you. God bless. Uh, enjoy your day. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy mine. That's good. Mm.